Hey guys, what's happening? So, in my CNC conversion um, for my uh, milling machine, I was in the uh, market for some uh, stepper motors, some uh, closed lift stepper motors, and I'd been looking around, and these were really my first choice, but um, they were actually integrated servos. So, my original I wanted, you know, closed loop, closed loop steppers, but for the same price, I found these servos. Um, and yeah, they look pretty awesome. They actually work great too. I've already hooked up one and uh, super smooth, super quiet. Uh, they're from Stepper Online and I've only seen one other guy actually do a sort of review about it and that was Cloud42 for the uh, electronic lead screw for his lathe. But uh, yeah, that's pretty incredible. I mean, ClearPath makes a similar servo. I mean, obviously a much higher quality servo. Um, you know, in this NEMA 30, 34 integrated uh, Stepper thing here or servo thing. But you can definitely feel that it's a uh, a uh, servo because it's really easy to turn right here. So I was always trying to figure out: is this thing a servo or is it like a closed loop hybrid? Because sometimes I refer to these things as like a like a like a hybrid stepper like slash uh, servo uh, when it's actually truly a servo with a just an encoder. Let me show you that real fast. So here is uh, another old old school. Uh, this is about a 20 year old stepper, and it was really unique because it had an encoder, a US digital encoder. And this is made by Pacific Scientific. And it actually came with the machine I'm on right now. That I'm actually converting. And uh, so this thing had already been previously converted at CNC like 20 years ago. I made a video about this. I haven't, I've done a lot of progress to it. So you guys probably haven't seen it like this. But I already currently have one of these things mounted right here. And I'll, I'll fire it up and I'll show you too how quiet it is. Yeah, it's way more quiet than a, than a, a stepper. Uh, so originally my idea was I was going to do something like that. So that's my uh, Tsugami lathe right there, CNC conversion. and But that's actually a NEMA 24 closed loop, closed loop stepper. And that was my original idea, I was going to put those on this thing. Um, but, you know, for, for a servo, I mean, servos are way faster and tip, usually higher quality. Um, so, like I said, I haven't really actually started cutting this yet, but I don't I don't think you really gain so much with the, the uh, what's it called, the, the dimensional accuracy. Um, one of my issues also, like, or... <laughs> I learned this from 3D printing, um, is that, you know, with a stepper motor, since you're going with steps, your your rounds, your your your, your curved surfaces, well, sometimes you'll see, like, um, I can, you'll see, like, a mark in it, and it'll actually have, like, little flat spots, and those flat spots are basically the steps, even though you actually have micro-stepping, like, I have really high micro-stepping on these things, um, you know, you just don't get the, when you're doing circular patterns, you don't get a high quality, you'll see the steps. So I'm hoping if I could, I could get, avoid that, that'd be great with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one is actually really heavy compared to this one. This, this is not very light, or this is not very heavy. It's a lot lighter. Um, but they're, I think they're about the same size. So well, what I'm trying to figure out is that this is, this is a nine. Well, also, that they, they, they gauge the, the servos differently, right? They call them by watt. Like, this is a 90 watt, and this is a 180 watt. Whereas... Um, you know, they're usually done in newton meters with the with the steppers. You know, the actual holding torque and the, uh, what's it, like the inch pounds? Or I can't, can't remember what it is, but... Um, yeah, originally I wanted to use these things, but the control board was just a headache. But yeah, I can hardly turn that by hand. So let me give, let me demonstrate here. I'm going to fire at Mach 3. Um, and I'm using like an old breakout board here. Parallel port breakout board. And uh, let me fire this up and we'll uh, do some tests. Alright, so I forgot to show you... Uh, what the uh, connector is like. So you basically have a uh, you know your step and direction pin, then you have your power, and then you have uh, this is a RS232 cable, and it's to program the drive. So I'll show you that too. You can log into software and program it. Some dip switches in the back. Uh, my main issue with this thing is it's not waterproof. So I'm going to design a cover, a waterproof cover for it, or at least as, as much as I can, to get like ch keep chips out of it and dust, debris. Yeah, you know, mainly I'm not going to be running full flood coolant. I'm going to be running probably more like a like a fog buster type setup. Um, but yeah, you don't want any sort of moisture in there because if you get moisture in there, I mean, that's a dip switch. So, I mean, that's definitely waterproof. Um, th yeah, the back part of it is plastic. It's not, I don't, it's not aluminum. So, what's funny is that if it's not aluminum, um, why have the cooling vents? I mean, that's obviously, obviously just for looks or they cheaped out. Like originally, the, the original design was aluminum as a heat sink. And, but that's plastic, so that's a faux heat sink. 
um, yeah, the motor itself isn't very very big here. This 90 water. So yeah, but actually, uh, let me fire this up and I'll show you, and I'll do a test on my my CNC machine too. Right, so I currently have this hooked up to my Benz power supply. Uh, turn that on. Okay, 32 volts. The max in that thing is 32 volts. Um, but actually, I'm going to be driving these at 48 volts. So I think the range is like 24 volts to 50 volts. Um, yeah, because my power supply is 48 volts. I have a DIN-mounted power supply. Yeah, so this is actually what I'm doing here. I'm actually creating the uh, electronics section of the, the CNC. 48 volt, 24 volt. This is a solid state relay. A couple of breakers, contactors. The Bob will break up boy will be here. And then I have a relay. It's all going to be dim mounted, nice and clean wires. All right, so here is the screen. So this is actually a killer uh, screen set by Physics Anonymous, another YouTuber. And uh, so right now I have this hooked to, I think I have the X. I have hooked to the X. So let's uh, try that real fast. See, so yeah, as you can see, you can't even hear this thing moving at all. Super, super quiet. Now, there is actually some resolution. I, I'm still kind of confused with the whole servo, you know, with the resolution, because when I see this stuff, I, it makes me think stepper. So is this the encoder resolution? Or what exactly is this? So I'm still... I mean, it doesn't feel like a stepper. Like I said, there's no resistance here, like when it's not powered on. As soon as you apply power to it, you can't move it, but... You know, with a stepper, you feel the magnets in it. You can hardly turn it. So, like, like if you had this connected to like a ball screw in a Z-axis, then you definitely want to break because this would spin the ball screw. But, uh, alright, let me go back and uh, as you can see, it works. My breakout board. And uh, let me control the axis so you can see how uh, quiet this is. But, like I said, I've only seen one YouTuber guy do even show these things on uh, online. Mostly because the ones that, that I see about these, these integrated steppers or servos are like the GMC brand. That was that, JMC. All right, and all right, let me uh, pause this and I'll go back with this to my uh, lathe here, or to my CNC mill. Well, I have this one connected, and one thing I noticed is this one sometimes will hum. What if I mess with it? But usually if I move a, move a direction, let me go back into my thing here. Is it humming? Definitely more quiet. So the noise you hear on this axis is actually the ball screw, not the motor. And one thing is you can go crazy with the rapids with the servo. S servos are way faster than uh, steppers. And they hold their torque too at higher speeds. So yeah, I can move this a lot faster, but since I'm still breaking this thing, I don't want to get crazy with it. But you hear that hum though? So what I need to do is figure out is it just that that actual um, that unit, or um, like if I do it over here, it doesn't. But I bring it back over here. See that? Can I move it? It stops humming. So it seems like when I'm in the forward direction going this way and I stop it here. So, but I mean, I, I have two of these, so I'll compare the two. So, hopefully, these are uh, better than the closed loop steppers. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, well, I mean, obviously, there's enough uh, torque in this NEMA 23 190 watt to uh, move this axis. So, the, the x axis is, is actually heavier than the, the, the y. Hear that noise? So that's, that's the noise you hear is actually the ball screw and not the, not the servo. So, alright, product's coming along. Um, got a fancy electronics up and I don't know. Uh, I also got the, the 90 one, the smaller one you saw is going to go up here for the uh, Z-axis. Um, but I got to drill this out to, to 10 millimeter. Or no, excuse me, uh, yeah, 10 millimeter. No, sorry, 8 millimeter. <laughs> so your, your typical like NEMA 23 is 6.35 6 millimeter. But those are actually uh, eight millimeter, so I'm gonna put that on my lathe and drill it out. Okay, here it's humming again. So hopefully that's just my system and not the.
All right, so uh, maybe I'll do a review, but if you, uh, I'm gonna have to make a cover on this thing. So maybe I'll redesign the cover. Maybe I'll just redesign the whole back plate. I'm not sure. I'll take it apart and see what's what's inside. Um, and see if I can find a way to prevent chips and, and stuff from getting into here. But it'd be nice to be able to see these things too, though, the lights, but... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder why they didn't just design a cover that was more weatherproof, you know? Like, why... You know? I don't know. I don't get it. Alright, but cool. I mean, actually, the price is right. It was 115 for the... Uh, I'll put link that, links down below on Amazon, I guess, but... Yeah, this was 99 and uh, the other one was 115 so... Alright, so I almost forgot. Actually, I suck at doing reviews. <laughs> All over the place. All right. Uh, so it actually does come with a uh, serial connection here, and uh, so I'm actually this older computer that actually has a parallel interface. If you can find them still, they do actually make newer motherboards with parallel interfaces. Um, actually, I would go with a smooth stepper, but um, um, I wanted to mess with Linux CNC, and I kind of wanted. I didn't want to get too advanced. Well, I was, I, as I'm trying to learn the program. Like with Mesa cards, I just wanted to go with the parallel port. Um, so this is actually an old six. I actually have 16 gig of RAM in there, and it's a Core 2 quad. Um, all right, so they did actually have. Where's the software for this thing? All right, where is it? In downloads probably. ISVT software. And then I think you can see that on the big screen right there. Should have been COM1. Actually, I gotta turn this on first. Alright, 3800 is the default. Connect. Okay, version 4. But yeah, you can control like the parameters, uh, you know. I mean, I, I don't know yet if this, this stuff works yet, so I mean, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm not gonna mess with it until I actually start messing with the CNC machine so I can figure it out if I need to change something. But, uh, again, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, you have the same feature on most closed loop steppers too. You can actually go, uh, some of the newer ones don't have it, like the version 4 of the stepper online uh, CL57Ts. They got rid of the uh, serial port so you can't program it anymore, but the previous version and some of my other bigger uh, my CNC lathe here, this one actually has it. Uh, still has a serial port. Alright, so I increased my max velocity to, to uh, 8,000. My steps per is uh, 640. I'm running a 1605 ball screw. Take a look at this. A little sketchy. Still gotta figure out the hum though. Yeah, I tried to increase it to 10,000. I started getting kernel issues. Yeah, because I'm not really, I'm not running like a, what's it called, like a smooth stepper. Just running like a slow uh, bob here, old school bob. So if you guys are wondering about these uh, servo motors, um, I mean this is what I've done, figured out so far with these things. So I mean, hopefully these work. We'll see. You know, I'll come back near a video. Well, you'll see I have more videos on my uh, CNC machine. So all right, cool.